Welcome to Tokyo Drifter. Today we are going to explore Akihabara, the nerd mecca of the world. I got a message from a friend that there was a limited event special Naruto Cafe. It's to promote the new Naruto movie. Let's see what's in store for us. Well, we're here in Akihabara. As you can see, it's geek heaven, anime and porn as far as the eye can see. I'm just kidding. Hentai as far as the eye can see. No, but seriously, we're here to look for Naruto Cafe. Wow, there's really everything a nerd ever needs. Anime, manga, made cafes, electronic parts, and video games. Maybe I'll come here in the future and explore more in depth. But for now, it's on to Naruto Cafe. And here we are. So apparently, it's until June 31st, 2015. Just in case people see the video in the future, we don't want them to come here to Japan and not be a Naruto Cafe. Wow, I was joking about the porn, but here it is. Well, here we are. There's nobody at the reception. So I guess we have to wait until somebody shows us to our seat. Cool. There's ninja cake and stickers of Itachi. It's a cake of Itachi. Ah, uh, is it? Ah, uh, is it his birthday? Man, I forgot to buy him a present. Pretty awesome. Big illustrations of popular characters of Naruto and TV screens showing clips of the show. Cosplay. I guess you can wear a suit of the characters of Naruto. Hmm. Here we have the Jonin vest. Then we have Yondaime Hokage's white vest. It's pretty cool. And the blue suit that all ninjas wear in the village. Oh, nice! I can't see black vest. Okay, so we were just shown to our seat. Here's the drink theme menu. Here we have Naruto. Hokage no Omoi Yellow Drink. Then we have Sakura Shanaro Pink Juice. As you all know, Shanaro is Sakura's, I guess, um, catchphrase. Next we have Sasuke Sato e no Fuku. Next is Kakashi's Green Icha Icha Tactics Drink. Hmm, I wonder if these drinks have any alcohol. Probably not. It would have said it in the menu or something. There are kids here too, so... It's probably not alcoholic. That sucks. It would have been kind of cool to get shit face at Naruto Cafe in Japan. Probably end up acting scene together with the staff. 
Anyways, next is Gara Chocolate Sunabom something something. Freaking difficult country. Can't read that. It's Gara Brown Chocolate Drink. There. Next is Guy Senses Totally No Seishun Red and Blue Drink. Hmm. Might get that since I like Guy and Lee. Very disappointed that Guy never really got a good fight scene like Kakashi or Sasuke or Naruto. I've always wanted to see a nice fight scene with Guy Sensei. His fight seemed to always finish very quickly. Either the writer didn't really care about the character Guy, or Guy was just too powerful and destroyed everybody around him very quickly. Seriously, I was really looking forward to the fight between Guy Sensei and Sam. I thought it was going to be a really good fight scene. But at the end, Guy Sensei just knocked them out in one punch. But anyways, I'm rambling. Next is Akatsuki's drink and... Wow, I don't know this white drink. Never seen that kanji too. But it has Akatsuki red clouds in the back. Hmm. It says you can get a present for everything you order. What is the present? Oh. It's one of the it's one of the character stickers. Cool. Next is I knew it. They have to have it. Naruto's favorite Ichirakurami. I have to get that. Next is Ichiha's Choshoku Rokomokofu Salad and Egg. Hmm. Here in Japan, Rokomoku usually has rice, so maybe it's under the egg, not just not just a salad. Next is Naruto's rice ball and eggs. Hmm. Feels like I should be making a joke here. And last is Sasuke's Mangekyo Sharingan Hot Cakes, which is pancakes here in Japan. For some reason, the Japanese call pancakes hot cakes. Okay, next page is. Oh, nothing special. Just regular food that you will find at any Japanese fast food restaurant like rice omelette, karage which is fried chicken nuggets with curry and uh, tarako spaghetti I'm not a very big tarako fan tarako is small fish eggs just in case you didn't know I was never able to eat that Next is tomato napolitan and desserts. And then I guess you can buy little stuff like her characters key holders or pens. Not sure what that is. Over here you can get hamburger, which is like a hamburger steak without the buns and the veggies, just the meat. Anko Mitsu and Naruto and Hinata's Anidofu. Hmm. Actually, Anidofu is pretty good. It has a consistent of jelly, but it, ha it tastes nothing like tofu, which is good. It actually has flavor. And finally, let's look around the cafe. I guess it's your typical themed restaurant. Here is your display case with probably valuable Naruto wood. And around we can see many monitors with tips of Naruto. On the 
wall, there are giant pictures of Naruto Kills. Well, at the end I order ramen and guys and these drink. The ramen was pretty good. Tonkatsu ramen. Tonkatsu is literally pork bones. They use it to make the soup in the ramen. Pretty good. Usually at theme restaurants, the food is not so good. As they focus more on entertainment than food. But the ramen was pretty good. And the drink had no alcohol, unfortunately. It was still very good. And I had coffee. Got three stickers. And as I was paying, I got a free paper lunch mat from Naruto. I guess if you spend a certain amount of money, they'll give it to you free. Unfortunately, they were all out of the laminator. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm planning on uploading videos every month at the end of the month. I will be on the lookout for other underground hard to find places here in Tokyo. Things and places you will not find in the guidebooks. If you have any suggestions on where to go next or places you would like me to explore, please leave a comment below. If there is an event that you would like me to check out, Please let me know as well. So if you're interested, please like, comment, and subscribe. And maybe even share, that would really help me out. And tune in for my next video. Until then, this is Tokyo Drifter. Peace! So, I decided to give away my three stickers and my lunch mat. I will choose three people at random who have left a comment, who have liked and subscribed, and mail it to their address. First prize will get one sticker and a paper mat. Second and third will each get one sticker. So, thank you very much. Good luck.